Hello students, today we are doing part 4 of lesson 7 from your science textbook for standard 6, Nutrition and Diet. Let's continue with the lesson. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Now let's learn about a little bit of a uh, look into the past. Casimir Funk was a scientist who belonged to Poland in Europe. Okay, Poland is a country in Europe. Now, in a scientific article, he read that people who ate brown rice, what is a brown rice? Rice that is unpolished with the skin to it. Okay, so that is a brown rice were less likely to get berry berry than those who ate full milled rice. Okay, so we will not, they will not suffer from this disease of berry berry. This is what he researched and he found out. He was able to identify and isolate the substance which prevents the diseases. Okay, so he was able to, you know, find out ki what is it that can help us to, you know, um, uh, stop this, prevent this disease. And he named it vitamine. Okay, so he also proposed that other disorders like scurvy, Pelagra and rickets were also caused by deficiency of various vitamins. We had seen uh, when we were doing the uh, topic about vitamins um, in the previous slide. So that time we saw what, what happens if we have deficiency of vitamins. These are the various pictures that they have given about scurvy, rickets and goiter. So it was Casimir Funk who was able to identify these diseases, why they happen because lack of vitamins. Now we learn about probiotics. What are they? You know that the useful microorganisms which convert milk into yogurt are present in yogurt and buttermilk. Okay, so what is yogurt? Yogurt is our dahi. And what is but buttermilk? It is chas. Okay, so your mom must be waiting. No, in Marathi we call it taak. Taak or chas we say. So, uh, probiotics. So, the probiotics are good bacteria. They are useful bacteria. So, bacteria are present in yogurt and buttermilk. So, they are good for our body. So, they are called probiotics. So, this good bacteria are called probiotics. Therefore, we consume a lot of uh, curds and uh, milk, okay, buttermilk. Then, lacks of microorganism reside. Reside means live in our intestine. So, in our intestine also, there are lots of um, microorganisms. Their presence in such large numbers is essential is essential means it is imp important to have such large number of microorganisms uh, in our intestine for our health so it is good for our health hence to maintain them in our body we should include probiotics such as yogurt and buttermilk in our daily diet therefore we have to consume yogurt and buttermilk in our daily diet when we suffer from loose motions that is we uh, you know our stomach upset happens and we have to pass uh, stools again and again we have to go run to the toilet we pass loose motions and sometimes it is vomiting we throw out microorganisms along with the intestinal water and some medicines can also kill them so sometimes if it is severe vomiting or severe diarrhea or you know loose motions and doctor will give you a tablet which will kill Okay, kill all these microorganisms which are harmful. Okay, not good ones. So, therefore, we need to take extra yogurt and buttermilk to restore their number. Okay, so when, uh, what happens is, uh, along with the bad microorganisms, even the good microorganisms are killed. Okay, when we have the tablet or when we pass motions or lose motions, okay, um, or there is a lot of vomiting. So, therefore, we have to have yogurt at this time. The next topic we are going to learn is about the balanced diet. So, diet. Diet means all the food stuff that we have during our daytime. Okay. So, the that is called diet. And balanced means everything should be in the right proportion. Okay. Not more, more not less. So, we can't consume one thing more and one thing less. So, everything, whatever our body requires should be in the right proportion. 
So, all that we consume, consume means all that we eat during the day is together called our diet. So, that becomes our diet, all the food that food stuff that we eat. And a diet containing adequate quantity, adequate means enough, proper quantity of all the nutrients is called a balanced diet. Therefore, we should have all kinds of food. So, we have just seen what happens if we have deficiency of this and that. Our body we may suffer from various diseases, isn't it? So, therefore, we should have all the constituents, all the six constituents of food. To build a strong and healthy body, you need all nutrients in the right proportion and in sufficient quantities in your daily diet. So, all the constituents of food you should have in proper quantities. Now, significance. Significance means importance of the balanced diet. What? Why is it necessary? So, it is necessary because it will an increased capacity to work. So, it will help you to do more work. Okay, capacity means how much work you can do. So, the amount of work that you can do. So, it will increase that. Then good physical and mental health. So, not only you will be physically fit, but even mentally fit, you will be able to remember things, you will be able to do all your sums, your calculations, your studies well, you will be able to think well. So, your mental health also will be um, better. Then increase capacity to fight and resist diseases. So your body will be able to fight diseases, resist diseases. Okay. And it will help in proper growth of the body. Your body will grow as much as it is required. Isn't it? Now here is a small triangle or a pyramid given to us. And it shows that how much of the various constituents we should eat. Fats we should have in less quantity. Then here we have milk products, meat, fish, eggs in a uh, little more than fats. Next comes the vegetables, the fruits. Okay, so we have to consume a lot of vegetables and fruits and cereals and pulses are the most number because they are energy giving foods. Okay. Now, apart from having a balanced diet, we also need to exercise regularly to keep ourselves healthy and fit. So, not only having good food is not enough, but we should exercise also, we should be fit and healthy, we should be a very active in our daily work we should not be just sitting in front of the tv or just doing our homework continuously no we require uh, other physical activities also in order to keep ourselves you know fit and healthy so how to get this balanced diet what should we do so that we can get balanced diet to ensure, ensure means to make sure that we get a balanced diet from the food we eat, we can make a food pyramid ourselves. So, just like the food pyramid we saw, you can also make one for yourself and keep a note of what is the food that you are eating every day, how much you are eating of one particular type of food, which you are eating more, which you are eating less. So, you can make a note of it, you can make a food pyramid and all foods which E, which we eat is classified into various groups. The space allotted to each food group in the pyramid depends upon the proportion for which it should be included in our diet. So, if you look at the space, that is the column in which it is. So, here we see that fats is fats that is oil, ghee, butter. We should consume less whereas cereals, vegetables and fruits, we should have a lot of it. So, accordingly you have to put it in the column, okay, in the space provided. Hence, uh, we can choose foods from each group daily according to the space allotted to the pyramid. Okay, And if we choose some items from each group in the right proportion according to the pyramid shown on page 53, we can make sure that we are getting a balanced diet. So, then after looking at the pyramid, we can understand whether we are getting the balanced diet or we are not. So, where we need to increase our food? What food stuff should we increase so that we can we get uh, our body gets a balanced diet? Now, let's look at this. Always remember, 
if our need for nutrients is met through the food we eat the nutrients are better utilized in our body so that means if our body if we give all the nutrients to our body so all these nutrients will be utilized in a better manner in our body will take it and use it for a body and our body will be able to fight diseases and we will be healthy and fit and we will not fall sick hence the best way to good health is taking a balanced diet and avoiding the deficiency of any nutrient so deficiency means not consuming anything so we should consume everything so that we get all the constituents of food let's learn about fiber that is the next constituent of food if we select a daily diet which includes vegetables fruits sprouts and cereals according to the pyramid we will get fiber in sufficient quantity so fiber fiber i told you is a thread like substance that is there present in the food some have more large amount of fiber some have less amount of fiber like i gave you the example earlier of the mango some mangoes have a lot of fiber in it they get stuck in our teeth when we have it remember that okay so these are the fibers so fibers are there present in all the food but in various quantities and various proportions some have lot of fiber some have less fiber okay so fiber is very important in all our uh, vegetables and fruits and sprouts and cereals now can you recall think about it okay what trouble do we have to face if we do not get enough fiber from our daily diet can you think about it yes we will not be able to throw the waste from our body that is will not be able to pass our stools the next morning whatever way we have eaten will be get stuck up and we'll have constipation and will be have difficulty in passing our stools the next morning what care must be taken to make sure that fiber is not lost or removed from the food we eat so what should we do we should not have a lot of juicy stuff but lot of whole wheat whole uh, whole grains okay whole grains whole vegetables whole uh, fruits and all that okay try to eat as much of whole but you can have juices also now we shall study about the next constituent that is water so along along with all other nutrients the body also needs an adequate supply of water adequate means enough sufficient supply of water so therefore we have to consume water in the right proportion for this purpose we must drink milk buttermilk lemon juice sharbat fruit juices and plenty of water so we should not only have all this but even have a lot of water so our body can get water and that is also the one of the constituents of food so it can function well our body can function and do the various activities well do solve the exercise that is given to you at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe bye bye